Oh, it's cold. What is up, guys? Today it is November 22nd, 2017. Um, today we we're doing a catch and cook, I think. I'm not really sure. It depends. It depends if I catch anything in this video. My hands are freezing. My whole body's freezing. It's cold. It's like 35 degrees. But today I'm fishing at that same creek that I did my last catch and cook. Just this place. Oh my god, it's so cold I can barely hold this phone. Oh. It's probably colder than that. I put my hands in the water too, which is retarded of me. But so today we're gonna do catch and cook. I'm gonna try and catch a sucker or a trout or something, or or I don't know, rock bass again. I'm not sure. But this place hasn't been stocked with trout since like April. So there's probably not any trout left in here. But this place didn't. I mean, I actually got a crap ton of pressure. But there's always a few trout left in here at the end of the year. So I'm gonna try and do a catch and cook for you guys with rainbow trout because I haven't done that yet. Fall fishing, rainbow trout, catch and cook in Pennsylvania. So let's see if we can catch anything. Is this, is this a trout? Oh, no way. No way. That's not possible. That is not possible. Did that really just happen? Oh my god, I just got a freaking trout. The hell? You recording? That's, oh no, he's not going to make it either. I freaking destroyed his gill. Well, we're going to have to keep him. That sucks, because this is probably the last trout in here. What? Bro, it's November. How is there still a trout left in here? <laughs> That's hilarious. Right, guys so as you just saw I just caught a small rainbow trout and unfortunately the trout did not make it um, it did swallow the hook and um, with the wind and stuff I wasn't able to tell when the bite was coming so it did swallow the hook so I am gonna keep it for the catch and cook I was gonna plan on keeping a trout anyway but I wasn't gonna plan on keeping one that small um, unfortunately that's what's gonna have to do today because it did die but Oh god, oh my god, I'm freezing. I really just want to go home. I want a hot chocolate. I want some warm fried rainbow trout. Uh, so, I'll meet you guys back at the house. Let's get this thing filleted up and just in my stomach. <laughs> I want to go home. Alright guys, here we are. Here's the rainbow trout that I caught. It's around 10 inches, I should say. Uh, pretty skinny, pretty, not too fat, but once again, it did die while we were trying to catch a bigger rainbow trout so unfortunately i had to keep this little guy um but this will do for now it'll be a nice little meal let's fillet this sucker up by cutting along the
Alright guys, I got the first fillet done. I know it's small, but um, this is gonna taste delicious. And if, and this is actually a perfect fillet too, like, I didn't miss anything on there. And this is a perfect, nice trout fillet. Alright guys, so both the fillets are ready. As you can see, I already put a little bit of seasoning on there, but I kind of washed off because I failed without showing it to you guys on video. Um, I'm going to start out by putting some salt, pepper, and then uh, some paprika on one of them. And then I'm going to bread this uh, thicker one and uh, pan fry it. So I'm going to start out by putting some paprika on this one. Let me throw some pepper on there. Ooh, that looks really good. Maybe get some paprika from here on like here though. Yeah, much better. That one's ready to go. Come along pretty nicely. Just dipped in the milk and then put in the breading. All right, I'll come back to you when these both of these fillets are ready because this is gonna take a while to get prepared. All right, guys, both these fillets are actually done. Um, I know if there's some reflection, I got lights everywhere, but I know that sort of looks rough. These both look a little rough, but um, I think I did a pretty good job in the breading. When it, when it fries up with the oil and stuff, um, it'll do good. So for this one, I'm not sure how this one's gonna turn about, but. It should be good, so let's try out. First, I'm gonna put some oil, a little bit of oil, just enough for frying, on the pan. I'm gonna spread it out and uh, a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. I'll spread it out and um, I'll wait till the oil is gonna get hot. I'm gonna put it on medium. I'm gonna wait till the oil is a little bit sizzling. That's gonna be perfect to toss it in. It should only take three or four minutes for this whole thing to cook. It's actually really thin, um, so that's all we need. Alright guys, the fish is done. It looks delicious. It might be a little bit overcooked, but I think it I think it should be fine. Alright, let's uh try it out. Alright guys, so pretty much everything else is done. The only next step to do is eat it. So I'm gonna start off with this piece of trout that is pan fried. Well they they both are pan fried, but this one is specifically uh, has some paprika and breading, so let's try this out. Not bad, not bad. Kind of flavorless, even though I did put a lot of seasoning on it. Let's try this other one. Okay, so I'm gonna give that like a probably a five. It was kind of plain, but uh, still liked it. I mean, I'd eat it again for sure. All right, let's try the breading. Now this breading is always fantastic. So let's see how this does with trout. Once again, that's really good. It's still not as flavorful as the other stuff I've eaten, but that it's still really good. I love I love any kind of fish that that's just breaded. It's just it's really good. Kind of let it sit out, so it's a little bit cold, so that might uh it might be a factor, but tastes really good in my opinion. So I'm gonna leave this other stuff out because my aunt wants to try some of it, so. We'll leave this other stuff off to the side. But overall, I'd say that was pretty good. Um, definitely do that again. I'm kind of drifting away from trout a little bit just because I've been eating it so much. Um, I haven't really eaten it a lot this year, but <laughs> over the years, it's taken its toll. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys to try what I did and cook the trout like this. It, it was good. So, All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this catch and cook. If you did too, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like the post and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys later.